Those who have been or currently are in the foster care system, what do you wish people knew? Foster care was fine. It's after you leave it that is hard. Being a new adult with absolutely nobody to guide you. You want to move you have no help. A crisis comes up you have nobody to call. Nobody to help you figure out anything about jobs or apartments or bank accounts or insurance. No mom or dad to lend you 20 bucks when your paycheck isn't going to last until next payday. You are sent out on your own. 18 years old. Completely alone and no idea how anything works in the world. It's terrifying. Edit thank you for golds and sorry for not replying to everybody. I've gotten like 200 comments and DMs in rip inbox. I second this entirely. My entire adult life has been spent fearing homelessness. One bad thing happens and I have no one to fall on to help me. I have a little brother who was adopted from the foster system as your our parents are good people. The most heartbreaking things that I noticed from him in the beginning were kind of confusion at being treated well by our parents and also confusion at being treated as just one of us, included as a family member. There are some not so good foster homes out there. My parents were foster parents from the time I was seven until they moved out of state four years ago. I'm in my late 30s now. I was adopted as a baby and they took on foster care as a way to help me process things as well as a way to help other kids who needed it. My baby sister was adopted from foster care at I think 3 or 4 years old after we had her from when she was born until she went back to live with her mom for a year and then ended up back with us. I know the crappy foster homes exist, because I've seen a few, but I like to think the majority are like my parents. They're not saints or anything, but they are certainly the type of people all of us should aspire to be. Just don't be a dick. Don't get rid of their personal belongings without speaking to them, sometimes a ratty shirt or a torn up backpack is all they have left of home. A lot of foster youth have experienced trauma that may or may not affect their behaviors which is something you have to acknowledge and understand. When a kid does something that seems to make little sense analyze their actions and try to determine what is going on rather than jumping to the conclusion that the kid is bad or that they are trying to upset you. Additionally, speaking of bad kids, when working with multiple kids don't idolize one and speak poorly of the others. And don't make assumptions. I was a good kid. I didn't get into trouble and was quiet and got good grades when I was older. However, they struggled to find a placement. Once I interviewed for a home, I mean, kind of, the social worker just brought me to a house to meet the family. But when the family met me they flat out said, openly, that I couldn't live there because, as a foster youth, I would clearly try to seduce their son, 15 to 16-ish, despite the fact that I was 12, I think, and had no history of acting out sexually. When I did get placements because I was good, the foster parent, as would often speak poorly about the other children to me or around me. When they had guests they would claim themselves martyrs of the bad kids while putting me on a pedestal. While they may have thought they were helping me or raising my confidence it did not help me trust them and certainly didn't help the kids they bitched about. Edit. TBF. A lot of foster kids act out sexually. Even from a young age due to abuse or due to seeing sexual attraction as a form of love and reaching out for anything. Edit. Another edit. Just to thank you all for your support and the almost complete kindness and respect in this thread. I also want to mention a family that truly sticks in my head because I love them and the memory of them and want someone else to know of their goodness and want to bring more happiness to this thread. I stayed with a respite care family when my foster family went on vacation and these people were the bomb. They were older, lived in a wonderful relaxing place and were sensitive to my quirks to the point where I did not feel scared or apprehensive after the first day. I don't remember their names but wish I could. But they told me they couldn't take in foster kids anymore. They were quite old, 
but every weekend they took in a new respite kid and that they focused on kids that they thought needed more care. I was a young teen so they probably knew it was hard for me to find a placement. So they had me for a few days and they took me to the store to buy me foods I liked and took me to a historical site and let me near their pets. A lot of my families must have heard horror stories of abusive foster youth and wouldn't let me near their pets or kids, and just nourished me for the few days I was there. When I left they told me I could call them if I ever felt unsafe in my placement which I regret never doing. Point is, there are good foster care providers. There are good people, and they were a few of them as year. I was the good kid and got survivor's guilt as a result. I'd be curious if you have a similar experience. My mom starting doing foster care when I was in middle school. She was a single mother who already had six of her own kids. So it was clear to see that she loved children. When I was a senior in high school she adopted her first foster child. A little girl who came directly to us at eight days old from the hospital fighting drug addiction. A year and a half later, we had two more foster children, a brother and sister, whose parents were in and out of shelters. Because they kept robbing others and being kicked out, they still had visitation rights for about a year and a half before one of them came back with a burn on her arm a year after that. My mom adopted them as well. Then, my mom got a call that the first child we adopted had a one-year-old brother in the system a year. You probably know where this is going. We adopted him as well. About three years later, my mom got word that their mother had another child in prison and before they could even ask, we took her in too. She was a little less than a year at the time, but before she turned three we had adopted her as well increasing the family total to 11. Most people I talk to tell me mom is a saint. I always respond with, she's either that or insane. What I do know is that three months ago I watched my 13-year-old sister, who I remember holding while she wrapped tightly in a blanket shaking at eight days old. Sing somewhere over the rainbow is the Dorothy in her middle school play. All I could do not to cry was tell myself that I was sitting front row and she could see me. Then, in the same week, I watched my 11-year-old brother win another wrestling tournament, after which I had to flex on him to keep him humble. In the end they are all happy, healthy, and when I come home to visit they all run to give me a hug and welcome me back. If you're reading this and you're in the system now and feel like you're in a bad place, I want you to know that there are people out there who will love you and take you in as family. Life can be tough, but you're tougher. Your mom sounds like a great person. I'm glad she was able to help those kids family did foster care for 26 years. I was adopted when I was five. Some are pure and want to help and maybe expand. Some are in it for dollar. Always been interested in fostering older kids when I get off age and life goal but I honestly never even knew people got paid for this. Or it could be taken advantage of like that. Gross. I got really, really lucky and was placed with a decent family that didn't treat me like a second-class citizen. I was family. I've seen horror stories of other places where kids starve or are mistreated in their homes. I had the best possible situation and I won't deny that at all. However, it's still so much to deal with as a small child. Remember when you were a kid and you cried when left at the babysitters? Imagine going to live at the babysitter's house. My mom was in a bad moment here. She was a troubled woman trying to get away from an abuser. I was in the home for about half a decade, which is an eternity as a small kid. At 10, half my life had been split between two moms and I wasn't sure what I was allowed to feel. When I finally went back home would my real mom be upset that I missed my foster mom? Should I talk about missing my old school? The home I stayed at also had upwards of four foster kids at a time. Who shuffled in and out? A bunch of kids from ages 3 to 16 who had been through some horrendous stuff. And there I was. A broken kid surrounded by other broken kids. It's a hell of an environment. 
No matter how good the parents are, we make it a point to only foster one or two children at once. We base it all on their background and how much individual attention they need beyond the nor monsieur I hate when people load up on kids not understanding that they need extra time, focus, and love, even if they seem fine. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.